hmm, something's going on here. <laughs> a lot of teases going on. Now, there's been, uh, ever since uh, release the Snyder Cut was successful and Snyder Cut was released, uh, then it was followed up with Restore the Snyderverse. And uh, there seemed to be a lot of obstacles in front of that. And all that Warner Brothers uh, officially seemed to uh, be, no, we're moving on. We've got a, a new version of DC properties and all that. Uh, but uh, the fandom didn't give up and it kept going. And wondering if it was possible or not. And it seemed that Zack Snyder moved on over to Netflix to do his, uh, you know, his zombie trilogy and all that. Uh, but lately, <laughs> some things came along, especially when, no, no, this is it. The door is shut uh, on Ben Affleck being Batman and all that stuff. So a couple of things uh, have happened in recent times. So uh, the Peacemaker series that James Gunn did uh, ended with a little surprise cameo by the Justice League. Uh, well, most of them anyway. Cyborg and Batman were not in it, but the rest were, albeit uh, body doubles for Henry Cavill and Gal Gadot, but Aquaman, Momoa, and Ezra Miller's Flash were both there. Uh, later on, uh, James Gunn admitted, yes, uh, he had shot a Batman, but they were, he was told they couldn't do it. So, uh, whatever reason uh, that was, I mean, like, ah, oh, boy, I guess that means... Uh, he's not gonna, uh, that he is going to be erased or killed off or whatnot. Um, so that seemed to be all there was for that. Then there were rumors, and there still are, about Henry Cavill coming back. And that, no, it was just gonna be footage of him in the Flash movie. Now we're hearing more and more that, no, he'll probably be in it. Uh, I'm assuming along with, uh, you know, Michael Shannon and uh, Nazi trial, uh, as the Kryptonian criminals and all that sort of stuff. Uh, maybe he'll uh, interact with them in a new scene that uh, time warps everything and all that kind of stuff. Plus, then lately, a, uh, a potential uh, six-picture deal that they want to sign him to to be Superman, and this would include at least two more uh, Superman solo films, uh, two Justice League films, and then uh, something else. Apparently, uh, uh, David uh, Zasloff, uh, the, the head honcho of Discovery, and of course the merger, and the merger was always seen as uh, a, a big potential move that could help uh, restore the, the Snyderverse in some form or fashion. And uh, it seems that, uh, boy, he's really keen on having a, a movie featuring the Trinity, that being Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. And uh, that might be the two other films they want, they want you know? So uh, if that's the plan they want to map out, and look, it stands to reason uh, these versions of those characters is very popular uh, for a shared DC universe. Now, granted that a recent Robert Pattinson Batman movie has been very successful and uh, can stand on its own for what it is, but to capture Batman of the comic book version of him, to have that act fully realized, this is as close as you've got. And look... Uh, Hey, there's flaws within Batman versus Superman and that sort of thing. But goddamn, those are some great scenes of Batman. <laughs> and too bad we got cheated on the movie. I wonder what it could have been like. Well, that's another little tease we get. Uh, all of a sudden, we're getting uh, concept art that was uh, uh, worked on uh, for what Batman would have looked like in uh, Ben Affleck's movie. Uh, of Batman versus Deathstroke, which uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League sets up. We now know that Lex Luthor revealed to Deathstroke the secret identity of Batman, and Deathstroke wants revenge on Batman. Apparently, for the he blames him for the loss of his son, and so that would be uh, the you know the, the motive and plot of the film. Uh, whichever way it would go, a lot of things leaked out about it. Batgirl was supposed to be introduced in it, and all this sort of thing. Uh, if they were to revisit that, and maybe that's the deal, because now the rumors are, are resurfacing of potential HBO Max series with Ben Affleck back in the suit. Uh, he sounded really upbeat about Batman uh, with the Flash movie, albeit saying they thought this was a good send-off. I hope they used the footage in it and all this sort of thing. Uh, but with an entirely new uh, entity of Warner Brothers now to be Warner Discovery... Maybe he thinks it's more friendly ground. <laughs> because, I mean, look, there's a lot of problems going on there, and they ended up blowing him off as well. 
when they just suddenly changed course at the 11th hour and all that, but Matt Reeves gets time to uh, finish up the Planet of the Apes to come in and do a Batman film, and I'm sure that rubbed in the wrong way. He doesn't get time to work on Batman, you know. That kind of stuff happened. And uh, so there's a lot of uh, 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 sore spots here and there, not the least of which, of course, with his own difficulties he had at the time, but he seems to be in a much better place now. So, you know, what the hell? Why not? You know, why not just do it? <laughs> and the separation for making that viable with uh, the Batman property, which is uh, still very, very popular, uh, is that theoretically you could work that out. Where, uh, okay, uh, the Ben Affleck Batman will be exclusive to uh, HBO Max. You get a series out that. You could actually have Mandalorian level of you know, success for your streaming service there. Which I think uh, an actual Batman series done well. Especially if you could recreate the action of that uh, warehouse rescue scene in Batman vs. Superman. Uh, you, you think you're going to beat out Mandalorian and all that and be the top streaming service as far as that. You'll have your big show. Um that uh, people want to keep showing up for. I just don't know how much Ben Affleck would want to devote to something like that. But nevertheless, you would have that separation where, at, meanwhile, at the same time, you could have the Robert Pattinson Batman series of films for a trilogy going on and maybe even swap out every other every year there's another Batman project. <laughs> uh, and whatever they're going to do with Michael Keaton, who knows? But then you had the delays of the Flash film and all that, and uh, something's afoot. Uh, the business of the special effects uh, because of COVID and all that, I'm not buying that. Not really. Just been other films uh, were completed and done. Uh, since then, uh, at this late date, I'm not buying that that's the huge reason why. Um, so I think they're wanting to reshoot it and insert some new things in there. Might just be Superman. But it might also, yeah. Uh, but then Grace Randolph comes forward and says, "Yeah, she's hearing it, and not other people are hearing it. That uh, the Ben Affleck Batman will no longer cease to exist. Uh, perhaps he'll just be in a separate universe, and this will be another universe that they'll focus on in the Batgirl movie and that sort of thing with Michael Keaton, and uh, that's what they'll do. But uh, as for Ben Affleck, uh, it might not be over yet. So then, just recently, another tease." <laughs> Wayne T. Carr, <laughs> who was Zack Snyder's choice to be John Stewart and was supposed to be in the Snyder Cut, and he shot it uh, in his in his park in his uh, driveway. <laughs> Saw some of the behind the scenes shots of that uh, with uh, Wayne in the mocap suit, so it was going to be completely uh, CGI Green Lantern outfit. And then uh, Zack kind of showed it on his phone what it was supposed to look like, but you didn't get to see much of it. I uh, saw some concept art of him, uh, but now uh, Wayne put out the image of himself as John Stewart, and that's what he would have looked like had we gotten that. And there was no reason, really, to stop him from doing that. I know they're working on their uh, Green Lantern project, and they wanted to move away from Snyderverse and all that sort of stuff. It just would have meant there would be this other Green Lantern for a brief moment in the Snyder Cut uh, if you if they were to get their way I don't think they will now something things are afoot and changing because there's going to be a whole new sheriff in town with Discovery and the murder is all but done now so uh, well what's going to happen you know <laughs> So they could have kept it like that. I mean, for, you know, you, you allowed Batman to be in it and you're working on a new Batman movie at the time, you know, so you could have a, a Green Lantern and where where it goes, who's to say. But so Wayne T. Carr posts that on Twitter and everybody, oh, look at that. And, uh, and then, of course, does this mean that the restoration of the Snyderverse uh, is afoot? Well, uh, all put together, it certainly seems there's reason to think of that is just what form or fashion would it be does it mean that Zack Snyder comes back to do the Justice League sequels uh, perhaps does he come back in some producer uh, capacity and what have you on some of this uh, maybe so I, you know I, I, I doubt that it would follow completely and in some of the, uh, the, you know, the ideas for the Justice League the, the Lois Lane and Bruce Wayne getting together I didn't like that at all uh, they could scrap that and have something uh, better. And since it's all been leaked, you, you would want to kind of toy with that, and who knows how that would uh, play out. Uh, 
how many, what ben, would Ben Affleck have access to where they want to keep certain characters only for the Robert Pattinson Batman and he can't and so he could just only have his Deathstroke story but damn, okay I'll take it <laughs> so maybe so but it could just be hey it's the anniversary of Snyder Cut's release and that's what you know people like Wayne Carr celebrating or whatnot. but uh, he did put Restore the Snyder because <laughs> He'd really like to play John Stewart <laughs> in that story. So perhaps, just perhaps. Yes, that is so it's just too many all at once. And yeah, it could be the anniversary, but it's also the push and especially with uh, claims that Zasloff is interested in a Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman movie. Well, you've got some very popular actors already that people identify with for that iteration of those characters already established. So uh, it this seem, does seem rather likely. Could all just disappear tomorrow. Who knows? <laughs> but, and there's a lot of ifs. If that six-picture deal, which is really, would be really great they did that with uh, Henry and uh, because it's like I keep saying it I think it's a disgrace there hasn't been Superman films by now uh, but really should be already over and done with you know it done right you know but um, well had a bit of bump in the road you know so yeah it's just it's just too much to say there's nothing to this at all as to what form or fashion it takes well time will tell but Granted, I'm biased because I, I would like to see this direction. The, the alternatives I've seen, other than, you know, Matt Reeves' Batman, don't look that great. They sound really terrible and stupid. <laughs> so, this looks to be the better uh, direction to go. So, we'll see what happens, but it uh, certainly looks interesting. Thanks for watching and listening. Say, while you're still here, why not check out... My merchandise store, you know, hats, mugs, t-shirts, plenty of goodies just for you. And in the link description below, you'll find links to other merchandise stores that also contained lovely Nelson artwork. Oh, yes. Speaking of other stores, head over to IndiePlanet.com where you can get a copy of my comic book, Night Night. Yes, based on the audio plays of the same name that you can listen to here or my podcast podcast what podcast oh the mr nelson show over at radiomisfits.com or wherever you get your podcast oh you you'll you'll want to check that out and if youtube isn't enough for you well you can find me on rumble bit and odyssey oh yes plenty of other platforms with plenty of my stuff where you can watch it and listen to it and then of course <laughs> There's a little more, too, over at my Locals page, which is going to have a whole bunch of stuff, including my poor man mystery science theater treatment of old public domain movies, typically in the genre of horror and science fiction. Oh, yeah, plenty of that on there, but it's behind a paywall. But don't worry, there's a lot of free stuff, too, links to, well, a lot of videos like you just watched, <laughs> some Photoshop images, stuff like that. Uh, over at the Mr. Nelson post at thenelsonratings.locals.com. Yes, it's just that simple. And if all of this isn't enough for you, well, you can keep up with your old pal Mr. Nelson at these social media platforms. 